Ladies and gentlemen. Michael Douglas. Very, very much, and Sharon, thank you for those kind words and those nine days in bed in 91. I appreciate that, and, and Danny, you were a great roommate, and if they don't remember the 60s, what can I say? But uh, thank you so much to um, the Forum Press. This is always a, a lovely evening. Uh, the drink doesn't hurt. But uh, a lot of it, I think, just has to do with one of the few events where television and movies come together. As we're all off in our own worlds all the time, it's one of the few chances we all get a chance to, to see each other. And as somebody who is a product of television, who did um, 104 hours in four years, 26 episodes a year, in the old-fashioned way, on location, six days a week for eight and a half months straight, uh, television was where I really learned everything. It was an opportunity to learn about script, uh, dealing with guest stars and directors every week. And what made the big difference, though, was in those days, if you were the second lead, you were always about two steps back in soft focus. <laughs> Behind you was the star who was in front. And the star of our show, very early on, said, come on up here, boy. Buddy boy is actually what he said. And I will be internally grateful to Carl Malden for showing me what a work ethic is about. Uh, Carl, Carl and his wife Mona were kind enough to be here tonight. Carl, you were a surrogate father to me in that time. And should anybody have the opportunity to work with an actor as good as you were uh, and gave me the discipline and the training, so I will eternally be thank thankful for you. And I'm sitting here at the table with my mother's Diana, who met my father in acting school. So they both met in acting school, so I guess uh, my days were numbered as to what I was going to do. And living in New York with my mother when she was in the theater, I'm reminded tonight about watching you when I used to be backstage when you were working and seeing the joy that you used to have, the, the real love and the energy for this, this form that we are in now in acting. And I really appreciate that. And my father couldn't make it here tonight, but if, if Kirk was here, I would acknowledge him for his stamina, uh, for his endurance, um, and for his great sense of material. Uh, it was really he who found One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest and was fortunate enough for myself to get involved with it. At a low ebb in my acting career when producing looked like a good alternative. And that brings me to the other mentor in my life, Saul Zantz. Um, <laughs> Saul and I don't think really knew what the hell we were doing, except we had great passion for what we believed in, um, and we wanted to see it through. And so the opportunities that you gave me as a first-time producer working with you uh, have really, really made my career, Saul. So I'll always, always be very grateful to you for that. And obviously, it's impossible to thank all of the wonderful crew members, all the great directors that uh, pushed me, uh, the writers that made you funny sometimes or made you smart and the other actors that you do a scene with sometimes, you felt like you really shine, but I'm grateful to all of them. 
and to agents and producers that I've worked with over the years. And a short list of some people in particular that mean a lot to me that have been friends and, and cohorts over the years would be Eddie Bondi, uh, not here, Ron Meyer, Joe Horacek, my attorney, Sherry Lansing, my brother, Joel Douglas, Rob Harabedian, Nikki Grasso, Alan Burry, Ellen Mirajnik, to name a few. Uh, my children, Cameron, uh, Dylan, and Karis, uh, for not being able to be there all those nights, letting me do my own thing. And then, of course, this isn't to have this doesn't mean anything unless you can share it with somebody. And so, Catherine, I never thought this would be here with you, but I'm so happy to share this with you. And thank you all for this opportunity. I appreciate it. Thank you. Bye.